Hello, I'm Gotarovsky and today uh, I would like to talk about Uchimata and uh, what does Uchimata mean I will explain then oh. what does Uchimata mean and Uchimata it's written like in these two kanji letters and let's see the kanji letters by one by one one the first one and two second one and the first this letter it's pronouncing uchi and then of course another one is mata mata in slavic language mata it means general uh, slavic language is mata means like mats of tatami and mats of something something's mats but in here in japanese language no and Uchi, let's talk about from this. Uchi, it's made by two characters, two figures, two characters which shows two figures of some things. And you will see here, this, one and two characters. And these characters show something specific. And this one, it what? What do you think? What it looks like? It looks like something. Firstly, when I saw this, I couldn't guess it, actually. But actually, it means it means entrance. And when you will enter to something, there are just few examples to get entering to some maybe buildings or maybe to universities and something what do you imagine by entrance and then the second one now it gets easier it looks like just a building so this is let's say building or house house so uchi it means that when it gets together when you go through the entrance you will get into the building so when it gets together it exactly looks like this letter just it looks just normally uh, combined together and looks like this and uchi it means inside of something inside of something that's it only very very deeply in Japanese sense it also makes sense that means insert something okay so in this time it means inside uh, inside inside then the second le second letter it's mata and it's divided for two part the left one part, first part in on the left side, it looks like this. We saw in somewhere else. We saw it. We saw the same figure in somewhere else. Do you remember? It used to be uh, the one part of Seoinage's, the middle, the second kanji of Seoinage's oi. It's this part. This part exactly this part do you remember what it means it means a uh, piece of meat and i guess uh, now i can guess what it exactly means this letter it means kind of body if any kanji is included this part this part left side it means body of something okay now we know it and the second one too, we know it, but this time the expression, exp explanation will be a little bit different because in this time it's not, uh, it's not the same as Seoinage's Nage. You remember uh, we had the same letter character in Seoinage's Nage's, this kanji's right part, like this part. 
and in this Sevanaga, the all the guys were throwing cane, but this time the cane was this part, and this part was hand. This part was hand, and this part was cane. But this time, it's not cane, but it's spears. Spears is something like a weapon to stop the opponent. Weapon to stop the opponent. And these spears are not the normal, it has not only one, one knife, it has uh, two or three spears and he has a cane and with that wood cane spears are uh, settled on the top and uh, people who are fighting with this weapon in the war if the if there were two spears it just looks like uh, legs but opposite side like upside down but it looks like leg and it's called mata so just mata means just uh, between legs. It means between legs or two legs between the part of the space between two parts. This part. So, uchi mata is mata, now we know. And to do these techniques, uchi mata, we need to put our one leg between the opponent's two legs. So, everybody knows what, what it means now, but uchimata means, oh, oh, uchimata means one another different meaning, is this. And it means appearance of girl's way to stand by legs. I w uh, it's difficult to explain, so I will show the picture. Boom. I think that many girls are standing like this because of uh, sexual body structures. And the boys, they, their uh, pavils are the bone of your waist, this part. Because of pelvils direction, the bone of uh, the waist, waist's leaning position is making this girl's the way to stand. This is what I think. But I think anatomically, I think it's the same. Okay, so today was about Uchimata, you know what it means, like, maybe you already knew it, but uh, when you're speaking about kanji by, by Japanese sense, it looks like this. Uchi means inside of legs. Thank you for listening and subs uh, please like this movie and subscribe. Uh,